Hello everyone, I am Randa Malat, a PhD student at the University of Paris Secrétaire France and the Lebanese University, and in this video, I will talk about human exoskeleton system dynamics identification using affordable sensors. Exoskeleton robotics are an increasing development to help elders and patients regain the mobility to walk, to stand, and to achieve different daily tasks. In order to complete such tasks involving nonlinear and complex human robot interactions, model based approaches are highly desirable. The advanced model based controllers schemes rely on the accurate knowledge of the model dynamic parameters. These parameters may be available if a good computer at the design model of the robot is available, while the human parameters are usually obtained from regression anthropometric tables. However, in both cases, there are many limitations and so the inertial parameters are not accurate enough. In this context, our goal is to develop an identification method of the mass, the center of mass 3D position, and the six components of the inertia tensor for each link of the human body and the lower limb exoskeleton models. We have developed an all-in-one human exoskeleton affordable identification method. Starting from the geometrical model of the global system, and using the detected 3D position and orientation of augmented reality visual markers, a first calibration phase can be performed. Doing so, the joint centers and the local position of the markers can be determined. A second phase consisted of kinematics and dynamometrics data collection. For the kinematic data, the same markers detection technique was used, and so the markers Measured pose was introduced into an extended Kalman filter in order to estimate the joint and base kinematics. On the other hand, an affordable Wii balance board was used to measure the ground reaction force and moments of the human body alone and of the human wearing the exoskeleton. And so finally, the collected data were introduced into a linear identification model with respect to the parameters to be identified. Exciting identification motions were performed during the experimentation by the subject alone as a first step and then by the subject wearing the exoskeleton. And so based on the identified parameters, the ground reaction force and moments were estimated and compared to the measured ones via the Wii board with a normalized root mean square difference lower than 6%. In summary, it's an all-in-one human exoskeleton inertial identification method using only affordable sensors and that has been experimentally validated with an error lower than 6%. For any additional details, check the poster, please. Thank you.